Hello and welcome to a new episode of the series Factorio Concepts. This time we're gonna talk about the main bus. As we can see here, I have laid out already a, a main bus and one of the first things we might notice is that these uh, lines are divided in um, the entire main bus, I mean, is divided into the sections of four belts. These four belts are chosen because a yellow underground can traverse exactly four tiles. So with a layout like this, we can always make sure that if we take some items from some section in, in the middle of the bus, we can transport them with yellow undergrounds easily to whatever factory block we have on the side. Talking about this, we can see already how the entire factory will be laid out with a main bus. We would stretch the main bus in the vertical or horizontal direction, whatever you choose, and um, perpendicular to that we would arrange our factory blocks which uh, produce any more advanced items in, as we can see here, we take copper and iron in and produce our green circuits. Mm, um, by doing this, we have also one special quirk I in, I'm using quite often. I replace the copper plates one line of copper plates with one line of green circuits due to the ratio of 1.5 copper plates for each green circuit. So even with our productivity modules, we can be quite sure that we have a one-to-one -one ratio. So replacing these makes sense this time because we won't use that many copper plates, but we will always use the green circuits. So enough about this specialty in my design and let's go on to more um, to some other uh, things. Yes, one thing is that we want to balance our four lanes. Um, I'm balancing those quite often because by doing, th by doing so you can prevent um, you can prevent the, some parts of the belts being used and other parts are completely drained. Uh, I mean, you, um, some parts of these lanes are drained and other parts aren't even moving. And that means that your throughput is limited to only a few belts, which uh, we want to avoid. For example, if we have something like this here, we would normally balance the lines after, afterwards so we can make sure that if when we drain this um, from this line a second time all the lines uh, support this uh, outgoing line of iron plates. Yes. Um, yeah. One more thing I want to talk about is uh, mixed belts. As we can see here, each line of the belt has a different item. If we want to draw one, only one of those items from the, from the bus, but we don't want to limit any further propagation through the main bus, we would do something like this. We would split the, uh, the belt in half and then do a splitter with a filter. So we can make sure on the other side that we will draw only a stone from the main bus but, but we don't prevent the stone from getting to any other location. Yes, one more thing is that of course the main bus is not limited to only items but we can of course also put our our fluids on the main bus. For 
example water, lubricant and sulfuric acid are good candidates for that due to their um, repeated use throughout the entire factory. Uh, one more thing I want to add is keep some empty belts with no designated items for leftover use. For example, I have not defined any belt for uranium or something like that because if you want to do your um, uh, cannon shells or uranium rounds magazines you will need some uranium or other stuff maybe you also want to put um, engines on the main bus that's all totally up to you one thing to keep in mind though is it's not so clever to put too many different items on the main bus because one great um, advantage of having a main bus is that you can quickly see which resource is currently running out and which aren't even used in that great uh, in great quantities so by having too many different items this might get overly complicated for example, gears I would not recommend to put on the main bus, even though you would uh, compress two iron plate lines into one gear line. But you have to you have to keep in mind that many of the recipes that need gears also need uh, iron plates. So would you rather draw two different items from the main bus to your factory? or just one and produce the, produce the gears on site, which is, in my opinion, often the, the preferred way. Uh, about that, one other thing about that is, don't, um, how should I say this? It's always better to put uh, more compressed items on the main bus, so you can um, you don't use too much space for example i tend to use um, the direct smeltery uh, smelting from iron ore into steel plates because then i don't need so many of these iron uh, iron belts that uh, again go into the steel smelteries so i can keep those relatively compact okay I think that's enough about the theory about this one. I, it's time to show you one uh, example of an implementation into a world. So let's save the game and load my factory 9. This is a belt based uh, base. Uh, yes. So, as we can see here, we have our main bus running from left to right, especially here in the middle, we can see um, all the different items on the main bus. We have currently a lack of iron, but with a new train coming in, this should resolve itself, as we can see here. So. The lines go from left to right. We see uh, lines going from the bus to the bus. And like this, I was able to structure my base quite nicely. As we can see here, here we have the green circuit production, red circuit production, blue circuit production, and so on. On the bottom half, I have some malls for all the different items. And even though these malls need quite a big amount of different items, the overall, the overall structure of the base doesn't get too spaghetti. Just uh, sometimes when you have too many la uh, belts going from and to the bus, it may get a little bit complicated. But overall, it gives a good guideline how to where to put your factories how to lay out the entire thing 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and bye.